Good afternoon, everybody. Nice to be with you again. It's David Thomas at the Cornwall Record Office at Truro, looking at another of David's dazzling documents. And today we have another of our treasures on the table. Sometimes it's really good that people out, out of the blue walk into the office with different documents. Today we've got a 1832 survey book of the manor of La Frauda in the parish of St Justin Penwith down in West Cornwall. And it was drawn by a Marazion surveyor called John Harmon Rutger. And it was surveyed for a couple of the local land owners, William Cornish and James Trenbath. It was a fascinating picture of the layout of the then small town or village of St Justin Penwith in the early part of the 19th century. Here's the first plan in the atlas or album and what strikes you as you look at this is um, some of the interesting archaeology because you actually have the St Justin Penwith cross shown in its original position outside the churchyard gate. Today that cross is actually in the churchyard itself after, after having gone through a number of interesting scenarios. But you've got a picture there of the relatively small settlement of St Just in 1832 and also the famous Plain and Gwory, the amphitheatre where uh, Cornish miracle plays would have been performed in the Middle Ages. This is a small plan but the next plan is quite a, a much larger one and this shows quite a large area of the whole of the manor of the Frauda in 1832 and there's again taking an archaeological theme you can see um, you've got here the name Hewis and Quite so perhaps that area there was the site of an early cromlech uh, just like the one at Lanyon so that's possibly a, something worth following up uh, for the archaeologists and the small town of St Just at that time was quite underdeveloped as it would be compared today. We see the amphitheatre in its all its completeness, but what strikes you is all the small houses and scattered settlements each side of what became um, a much more well laid out town in the 19th century as mining progressed. The actual um, cartography on this is really superbly drawn. He was a very skilled draftsman look for instance at the words church town fields you would almost think that that was printed by machine printing it's hand drawn and in the front of this album in fact there are um, there's the account for making two of these albums that were identical and the entire cost was 32 pounds and this was one for each of the landowners and also that um, they were actually given and could be referred to um, as the bounds of the manor. But it's a superb example of an early 19th century um, atlas at the time. What isn't in the actual album? Well, for example, the Great Wesleyan Chapel of St Just, the, the largest in Cornwall, would now be somewhere down here. We have an earlier chapel. But in fact, the, the big chapel wasn't built until the year after this particular atlas was drawn up. So sometimes it's what's not there that we can identify with today that shows how important maps are um, for the study of community. We have thousands and thousands of maps here in the Cornwall Record Office and they show a wonderful picture of what life was like many, many years ago. And they're a leap, a snapshot of the past do come along and enjoy them.